more fuel for the debate over whether your cell phone can give you brain cancer. Results of a decade-long study expected to be released soon suggest long-term use can actually give you tumors. I'm joined by Deborah Lee Davis, an epidemiologist with Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York and University of Pittsburgh. I understand you testified before Congress. What's your conclusion about cell phones and the risks they pose to your health? Well, I can't be sure that cell phones cause brain cancer, but at this point, I cannot be sure that they're safe either. And unfortunately, the reason why most of the studies that have been done have been negative in the past is that most of them studied people for short periods of time. Brain cancer takes 10 or 20 years to develop. What we're finding is that in those countries, like Israel and the Scandinavian countries, where people have used cell phones for 10 years or more, they are finding a doubled risk of brain cancer, and we're very concerned about that. Yeah, what kind of tumors especially are they looking at and saying, "Mm, there might be an increased risk if you're talking on your cell phone all the time? Well, if you hold a phone directly to your head, you're basically microwaving the head because that's the same signal strength. Uh, Unfortunately, you would never put your head in a microwave oven. Of course not. But if you're holding it close to your head, you're getting a signal into the acoustic nerve. And we're seeing tumors exactly on the acoustic nerve. We're also seeing tumors on the side of the head where the phone has been used most heavily, according to several studies that have been done. The wireless industry has responded. CTIA says the peer-reviewed scientific evidence has overwhelmingly indicated that wireless devices do not pose a public health risk. What would be your answer to them? They are correct at this time, but unfortunately what they're not saying is that almost all of the studies that have been published to date have studied people who've used phones for less than a decade. And unfortunately, when we start to see studies of longer-term use, we're starting to see an increased risk. And the question is, would you play Russian roulette with your children's brains? We're particularly concerned because the cell phone industry's own studies have shown that the absorption into the head of the brain of a child is much greater. And you can see here, this blue line shows you here the absorption into an adult head. Right. And that you can see that it gets in a little bit. But this is into the head of a child. And you can see here it's much greater absorption into the head of a child. Now, nobody knows what this is going to mean for the long term. Forget about brain cancer. Let's just talk about learning problems and other issues of our children and the fact that brains continue to grow and develop. And we know that the brain doesn't fully mature until the early 20s. Okay, so it just seems obvious to me that if you're holding a cell phone to your head and it's 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 emitting radiation, and we know that, that that's how the signal goes. Even Bluetooth, the little Bluetooth earpieces, emit signals that reach to your cell phone. If you have kids, I mean, my seven-year-old niece has her own cell phone. If you have kids starting while their brains are still developing and they're in for a lifetime of cell phone use, should parents be concerned and just as a safety precaution, add in the the headphones, the headsets, corded ones? Let me just say this. The government of France is right now advising that. The hearing before Senator Specter heard from the leaders of Finland and Israel with respect to this issue. And in Finland and Israel, they have issued warnings by the government's nuclear radiation and protection agency saying children should not use cell phones directly to their head they should be encouraged to text or to use an earpiece the government of israel has issued a similar advisory so i think it makes sense for us to do something like that as well and that is why i'm very delighted that this issue is getting Mm. public attention we can't be sure it's a problem but do we want to take a chance right if we can be careful then why take the risk deborah lee davis i appreciate you coming on and sharing what you've learned thank you Thank you so much.